what's your assessment of that, Jamie? Good game, difficult game, but good game. Um, we all know it's always it's always difficult against Burnley for different reasons, and today there are a few more circumstances together that it was even more difficult. Um, one of them was the, the early goal we conceded. I think it usually it would be, <laughs> usually it would have been disallowed if um, and there has a better view on it. I don't know exactly. I saw it in the first moment it's a foul, and then I saw it now. I saw the pictures. So it's you cannot treat a goalie like this, and so it should not happen. But they scored. Um, the good thing is it was early, eight minutes, um, so enough time to react, enough time to, to turn it around. That's what we did. Um, we had the ball pretty much all the time. We had we, we, we created, we had I think now 23 shots or something like that um, versus three. The quote is quite impressive, three time and twice of them, two of them are in. That's not bad. Uh, but um, Wonderful play for the first goal, little one two in the box, Mo press it through, Bobby easy goal, second one Adam Lalana fantastic counter press block, um, Sadio can finish it off, um, third one I think would have been a, yeah would have been a penalty, um, but Bobby is there again was it Bobby yeah right and um, yeah and then of course they scored the, the next one, <laughs> so. I think it was a foul, but there was there were more serious fouls, obviously, in the history of football. We have to react then better, but I just didn't see it back. Why the ball bounced in our box? Crouchy was now on the pitch. I think he was involved somehow. And nobody could have defend the ball really well. Um, and yeah, they scored a second, and of course, it's a bit becomes a bit tricky all of a sudden. And um, but the boys reacted well. They scored a fantastic fourth goal, really nice. Um, I think if Sadio goes down, it's again. So Burnley, if you want, were twice lucky with <laughs> not a penalty, um, but um, so it's, it was good. Four two, it's a brilliant result. And we knew it's it's really difficult against Burnley. Always it was always for us, but we most of the time we could win, and we always felt really um, we felt the work we did, and so that's how it should be. All good. When you look at that first goal, and you look at some of the decisions over this weekend. It's a quite crucial start, um, time of the season. Those decisions. How important is it referees get these decisions correct? Oh, very. But of course, what make, would it make sense if I put now more pressure? The, the, the last part of the season is, is, is the decisive part of the season. It's for all of us the same. So of course you need to. You, as I always said it to to win something. You always need to have a bit of luck, and that's involved. Um, that's why I said I think if Henry <coughs> Marina has a better view on that situation, he probably would have whistled it. I think well, we have to ask him, um, or if he thinks it's um, completely fine like that, I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's always influential. But it doesn't help if we now put more pressure on the date. I think they try everything to do to to whistle in in the right way. Yeah, yesterday is is it is it finally um, decided if it was offside or not? Did anybody say it was now 100% offside or it was not offside or what was it? Does anybody know that? Still not. Sorted. So that says everything. Eh? So this situation. I think we, we conceded a similar goal sometime, and Dean Lovren touched the ball. It was not exactly like that against Tottenham. He touched the ball, but I think um, you now, from a football point of view, just not a criticism on the scene. From a football point of view, that should be offside. The player who gets the ball at the end doesn't care who touched the ball in between again with their own player because we all know Jan Matt only went went to the ball because he knew <laughs> Sterling is there. He cannot have be linesman and player in the same moment. Uh, it's enough I mean, it's difficult enough to be the linesman and so and the player as well. So you cannot give that responsibility to the player and say if you don't touch the ball he's offside but you touch the ball and so now he's not offside. That's a bit tricky. But there will be other tricky situations in it until the season is finished and we have to make sure that we are that we um, do enough in the right way that we are that's not too influential for us. Chris? Yeah. Um it's oh I said it now a couple of times I had already a few interviews, but it's um, um we had a long training week and we had a lot of sessions in that week. And I said at the beginning of the week, it's possible to to show up. So 
I usually don't have to say that because anyway clear, but maybe in a situation when you play a lot of times with kind of 12, 13, 14 players or so, then it's important that the boys know it and so and Adam used that. Not only Adam, but Adam um, especially and um, so at the end it was clear uh, if he can play like, like he trained, then he will help us a lot and that's exactly how it happened today. Um, he was, he's a, we all know it, eh? he's always good on the ball and all that stuff, but um, he's as well a pretty aggressive boy, so in the, the, the counter-press situation is a game-changer. It's a, it's a brilliant, it's a brilliant thing in that moment, it, it didn't really look like, it not, didn't look really promising until Adam jumped in that situation. So, well done, really well deserved, all the praise for today, I'm really happy for him. Tom? Oh, today was important. We scored two weeks ago five goals, and then we don't score against Everton. And, we, and everybody asks me about offensive, more offensive lineups. <laughs> I think next time, if you don't score, you will ask that again. Um, uh, and that's how it is. Of course, four goals are very important. But uh, what, what has that to do with the Bayern game? I don't think it's easy to score there for. Well, we have no problem with confidence. We didn't have problem with confidence after the Everton game. It's, uh, you don't have to think that all what you write really inf has influence on us. It's not, it's not like that. Most of the things are not interesting to us. That's the truth. So you, can, you make a big fuss of we score five, then we are the best attacking side in the world, then we could score nil, and then we have an offensive problem. Um, today, Mo Salah, for me, was the best player on the pitch and didn't score. I'm not sure that it will happen. Will you see that in a lot of ratings? Yeah, because a striker and didn't score, and so then you make of it what you want. But we have no problem with confidence. We are we are we are in a good moment. I said that before, but that means anyway we have to. We need all the players. We need to have them fit on the pitch and stuff like that. We have again little injury problems. Mili was not able to 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 be involved today. Dejan was not planned to be involved today, but he was on the bench. He trained only twice, but we had nobody else actually. All the kids, but they played um, for the U23s, and um, so. Just um, do the job, and that's what the boys did all the time. So um, not always with the result we, we, we wished for, but oh, that's probably the most I can say. Everybody in that league, we have only to make sure that we that we stay in the in that in that um, really interesting competition on top of the table. And um, our the message for today: nobody gets rid of us if we if we play. As we played today, because we had we had the perfect mixture from fighting the opponent, fighting the circumstances, and playing football. So that was really good. I liked it. Any final ones, guys? Well, you don't have to. Did you expect Burnley to stay up the Stay up? Oh, stay in the league? Yeah. yeah, of course. Of course, that's too that's too much quality. Yeah? So the boys up front, this brilliant, it's good organized. I've, I, I can imagine how it feels with 30 points and yesterday the results and all that. I was in similar situations, um, but as a Burnley fan, I would not be too worried. Okay. Uh, yes. Final question. Jurgen, I was wondering if you had a chance to look at what, what's happened with, with the, the Bayern players who've been uh, retired from the international team by Joachim Lowe and maybe how that might impact how they feel. Müller can still not play against us. Mm -hmm. That didn't change. Yeah, yeah. A good centre halves, obviously, and that, that, yeah, it's not. It's really. I'm pretty sure I will ask about that <laughs> from tomorrow. tomorrow on all five minutes, and maybe I say something about that. I will not start today because I didn't think a second about it. Or maybe it makes sense one time at least in my life that I think before I answer. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.